Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It is great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, the makers of premium mattresses and bedding that are customized for your sleep preferences and is delivered right to your doorstep. We have had our Helix Sleep mattress now for over a year and we are getting terrific sleep at this point, my entire family has them, my kiddos have them, and they're getting great sleep as well. You can take the Helix Sleep Quiz like I did and enter your unique body type and your sleeping preferences, and the Sleep Quiz will match you with a mattress that fits your needs. I happen to be a side sleeper, I prefer a firmer style mattress, and I share my bed with my husband. So the Sleep Quiz will take both my husband and my preferences and come up with the best compromise and match us with a mattress that fits our needs. We happen to match with the Helix Sleep Dusk Lux and we're getting terrific sleep. It has a great squishy top, yet our backs feel supported and we wake up feeling well rested. So your Helix Sleep mattress comes with a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans and financing options. I know it might be a little bit weird to purchase something that you've never tried online, but you get three months to love it. And if you don't, Helix Sleep will pick up your mattress for free and give you a full refund. And another great thing, if you live in the US, Helix Sleep will ship your mattress directly to you wrapped up in a cardboard box, which is really great to maneuver up narrow situations like I have like a stairwell that's really narrow and I was able to install the mattress myself. So if you'd like to start getting great sleep like I am, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to see how you can get up to $200 off of your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. So today we're gonna to be conducting a little bit of an experiment. Over the holiday break, myself and my family got COVID, which in the scheme of things worked out pretty well in terms of timing. We had holiday break, we had a cozy little holiday Christmas by ourselves, which was great. We were thankfully all vaccinated, so our symptoms, while were pretty rough for a couple days, we felt pretty good after about three days. Not hospitalized, so, so grateful for that. But then on day four for me, I woke up not being able to smell, which has been quite a bummer. I can taste salty, sweet, bitter, umami, meaning that kind of like mm, delicious, kind of salty, sweet flavor, but nothing has any flavor. There's no chocolate to chocolate. Chocolate just tastes sweet. Coffee is bitter, but there's not that aroma of coffee. You know, that whole ritual process when you're grinding beans and you're smelling that and then you'll be hot water and like, oh. Yeah, you don't get that experience, which I am learning is so important and something I really value, but you don't really value it till you don't have it, right? You totally take it for granted. Now, I know this happens to many people that have had COVID, they lose their sense of smell, and most people get it back. And I, I, really hope that's the case. But at any rate, here I am, I can't smell, so let's taste some things I know I don't like ordinarily when I can taste things and see if there's any difference because I can't smell. Uh, and maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. That's my hope. Trying to find some ray of sunshine in all of this. All right, so come along with me as we taste things that I don't like or dare say hate. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna try some pickles. Now, hate is a strong word to use for pickles because I actually don't hate them. In certain contexts, I really enjoy them. Say, a nice fried chicken sandwich, love slices of dill pickle, or in a hamburger, for example, slices of pickle, fantastic. But I am never a one to grab a entire dill pickle and give it a and say, isn't that great? Let's see if I can get the pickle jar open. Yeah. I think the last time I bought whole pickles was when I made the Disney corn dog pickle. Have you seen that? So they, you take a whole pickle like this and then you core it and then you fill it with a hot dog and then you batter the whole thing like a corn dog. It was actually pretty good. Whole pickle. Mm -hmm. Normally I would be smelling the brine. I would imagine, but uh, I don't smell a thing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Zip zero zilch, nothing. 
Here we go. Itadakimasu. Wow. Is that ever salty? There is sourness that I noticed from the vinegar, but more than that, a ton of salt. So if you get an entire pickle, that's 25% of your daily recommended intake of sodium. But yeah, uh, I don't taste pickle though. What I associate with pickle, I think, is that dill flavor. And I don't, I can't taste it at all. I do have to say, that is a pretty terrific crunch and very specific crunch. It's a mm -hmm. kind of when you get like a really good hot dog and the casing of the hot dog snaps. I love that. Pickles kind of like that too. The exterior, the skin part of the pickle resists you a bit and it gives you that big crunch. The middle is a little bit more mushy. I, it's kind of what I imagine it would be like if you bit into a cactus, although I've never really done that. I've had nopales before, but not uh, like a raw cactus, <laughs> which I don't re recommend you do, by the way. Uh, but that's kind of what I imagine. It's a more succulent. In terms of flavor, would I say I like it? I don't think so because it's just very, very salty. I do prefer it to when I normally have pickles though. No smell of vinegar. You know that vinegar has that kind of funk smell? Don't smell that at all. Although I taste the sour. It's a combination of that funky smell, I guess, and that dilly flavor that makes me not really like pickles because besides the salt, uh, it's, it's not half bad. Next, let's try an after-school snack that was popular with most children, but not myself. We're gonna be having celery sticks with peanut butter. Now, celery, first of all, I don't care for at all. Don't like them as a snack, just don't really like it. Celery flavor, I can give it a pass on certain things. Say like a New York system wiener, for example, when you shake celery salt on top, I feel like it's really essential. And also in like instant chicken ramen noodles, there's a celery salt kind of flavor in there. I feel like it's pretty important. Oh, and chicken pot pie, I feel like it's essential. So there's certain things that are just like, yes, you need a little bit of celery flavor, like a mirepoix, for example, you need the, the trinity, but Never just by itself. Nope. 100% nothing. Itadakimasu. No. Again, terrific texture. Not having the ability to smell, you really have to grab on to texture, I feel. Not have to, but I think I'm more in tune to it. Great crunch, love that. <sighs> very raw feeling of, of chomping into something very, very crunchy, like a wet crunch. It's a bit fibrous though. I don't think I've ever really noticed how fibrous celery is. Although when I was a kid, my mom would peel out the fiber. It's so satisfying to get rid of those strands. Don't really taste anything. Do I dislike it? No. Subtle sweetness to it. I don't dislike it at all. I wouldn't say I love it, but definitely much better than when I can actually taste the celery. But I would prefer to taste the celery rather than start loving celery, if I would be honest. Let's do this whole peanut butter boat thing. Oh, to make this extra worse, I should put raisins on this. So it would be like ants on a log. Oh, let's just try the peanut butter, see if I can taste that. Oh. Have a texture that's oily and a little bit chocolatey, kind of what I imagine like oily oobleck would be like if you ate it. Not a lot of flavor, uh, none actually, but there's some saltiness. Here we go. Hmm, interesting. I think what makes that interesting is that there's a combination of textures you get this kind of rich, kind of rich creaminess from the peanut butter with a very wet crunch. So you get this kind of cactus succulence and then you get this fatty, creamy, nutty spread. But I don't, I'm not tasting any of the nutty. Uh, so it's not a bad combination. I could see why people would like this because the 
celery is so crunchy and just very plain and watery. So when you add a kind of fatty richness to it, I could see how that would be a nice foil. Uh, in terms of flavor, I don't mind it at all. I think it is a good combination because it adds some salt and for me, some kind of taste to the celery, which has a great texture. I would say this would be definitely something worthy of eating if you can't taste it. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad at all. Peanut butter. such a weird texture. It's simultaneously sticky yet dry. Know what I mean? Wow. If you follow me for any amount of time, I think I hope at this point, you know, that I'm pretty adventuresome in terms of just wanting to try things I've never tasted before. And there aren't that many things I dislike, but there is one thing that I've tried repeatedly that I have not liked, but maybe since I can't taste anything, maybe I will like. And if you follow me for a while, you know what that is. But if you don't, it's this. Ta -da! And this is called Salmiak, Salmiaki. Uh, and this is salty licorice. And many, 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 many people, especially in the northern parts of the hemisphere, really appreciate this, including my mother-in-law. Adores Salmiaki. This is not like your typical black licorice that has that kind of anise flavor, think of like black jelly beans. No, this is in a league of its own. It uses ammonium chloride that gives it a very distinctive saltiness. The first time I tasted Samyaki was in my Emmy Eats Denmark video. This is before my first kiddo was born. So that's over 10 years ago. And I'll put a link down below to that video. My dear friend Kiki sent it to me and it was full of all different kinds of Samyaki because she definitely loves it as a lot of other Danes do as well. Love that packaging. And then you can just shake them out. There's a little A embossed on it. Isn't that lovely? Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. I can taste something. Okay. Salty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely salty. And no flavor though. Just the sensation of salty, salivating, an artificial sweetener, residual flavor. Strange chemical flavor. That's what I'm tasting too. I don't despise it but I don't like it. Normally I would have taken this out already, but there's no flavor. Sorry though, I still can't say I like it. No, I don't. But I don't dislike it nearly as much as I do when I can actually taste something. Huh. Also got this. This comes from Denmark and this is Turkish pfeffer, and this is extreme salmiaki, Turkish pfeffer. Nope, smell nothing. This one's more like a lozenge. Hmm, this one actually tastes sweeter. Oh, now I'm getting some of that artificial sweetener, medicinal flavor, and some saltiness too. I actually like this one better than the lacquerol. I use the word like very loosely. I wouldn't, I think, continue eating this, but I don't detest it like I normally do. Normally I'd be like, why do people eat this? Mm -mm. It's fine. It's not delicious. It's fine. But that's sort of how everything tastes to me right now. Everything is fine. It's really actually quite sad. I really enjoy eating food and I'm learning that a lot of that has to do with being able to smell and experience and taste the food that I'm eating. Alrighty my lovelies, so there you have it. Some of the things I really dislike eating and all of them taste better but I still would much prefer to taste them as they should be tasted and have an opinion of not liking them. Or perhaps once I taste these again, when I can taste again, I'll have a much better appreciation for them simply because I can taste them. All right, lovelies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all are well. Happy, happy new year to you. And I am so grateful for all of you. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching and sticking with me for 
showing up for just being here for me. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you so much. And big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get a mattress for yourself, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to see how you can get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Give me suggestions about other things I can taste or try while I cannot taste things. Love to hear them. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Uh. So I can't taste, but I can still burp. <laughs> <laughs>